Welcome to chapter 2.1.1 of the PySwim video tutorial series. In this video, we will cover installing PySwim on Windows. There are many different versions of Python, different distributions, different flavors, if you will. You can use any one of them. Some examples include WinPython, CPython, Anaconda, Miniconda. In this video tutorial, we're just going to use the, the standard uh, CPython distributed by python.org. Um, so we'll go to python.org under downloads and windows. We're going to scroll down to um, the most recent version. Oh, here we go. It's at the top 3.10.7. And uh, down at the bottom should be some files. Uh, we'll get the 64-bit installer. That's very important because uh, PySwim only supports 64-bit architecture. We'll open up this executable and it'll ask uh, you for administrative privileges to install Python and some checkboxes down at the bottom, install launcher for all users. It's always good to uh, share the love. So I think that's why they recommend that. Uh, and then this other checkbox, add Python 310 to path. What is path? Uh, I like to think of path as uh, sort of my computer's toolbox. If I want any other programs to be able to access this tool, or if I want to be able to quickly access this tool from the command line, uh, I should put it in my path. Um, this button can can break some things. Uh, if, if other programs have their own versions of Python installed that they're dependent on, uh, if you're a civil engineer, I've always had issues uh, with uh, ArcMap when checking this box. So um, it, if you use and you you want to be careful about not breaking the Python capabilities of ArcMap, uh, you should go use Anaconda or Miniconda and use um, go watch the video tutorial for installing that version um, rather than this version. But if you're not worried about uh, ArcMap, this version of Python is an excellent one and should be good for you. So we'll check this box to add 310 to path. And I will hit install now. It'll ask me for my password. Hit yes, and then it's going to go extracting all the libraries and, and setting us up here. Uh, Python is an interpreted programming language, so we're installing the interpreter and all of its dependencies, as well as a package manager, pip, that we'll use to install PySwim. Uh, so the final step here, we have this little button, disable path length limit. This is a handy feature. Uh, oftentimes, I name my swim models uh, with long names. Um, that are very descriptive, so I can keep track of them. Um, fun fact, Windows does not like long uh, file names or um, just even paths to files, uh, and it limits it to, to, I guess, 260 characters. Mm, I don't like that limit, and I don't want to run into issues, so I'm going to disable that limit here, and I'm very happy that, that the Python Foundation has developed that feature automatically, so we'll just disable that. and. Um, We'll close this installer. So now I should be able to search my start menu for Python. And here we go. We're in Python 3.10.7 terminal. I can import this and get the Zen of Python. If you're new to Python, uh, read this. It's a great module to live by and to program by for that matter. Um, but this isn't what we want. Uh, we just want a good old fashioned uh, command line command prompt. And in this command prompt, since we added Python to our path, I should be able to just start Python by invoking the Python command. And here we are in my Python terminal. I can uh, import this again, and we'll see everything. And I can exit Python by either typing exit and then open and close parentheses. A nice quick shortcut, although also is Control D or Control Z. So um, to install PySwim, we'll just do pip install. Pi swim. And, uh, it's going and collecting the, the main dependency of PySwim, AENUM, Julian, and Swim Toolkit. Now, if I invoke Python and uh, import Pi, Pi swim, we should be good. And I can check the Pi swim version by accessing the version attribute of Pi swim. So that'd be Pi swim dot double underscore version double underscore. And you can see we're running. Uh, PySwim version 